級生作品の転倒を志願人生に人もありて共に歩まい我が道の闘技を語る友をしのぎこの戦いの総力を赤原の森に捧ぐ。Betsy Ross, a formidable woman and one of the founding mothers, you better believe it. And here on July 4th, 2013, I would like to say how happy I am to see the United States become the weird fascist empire it was always meant to be. I hope you realize I'm being ironic. Now go back and watch the fireworks. Don't forget. In a fascist society, everyone can hear you scream. Oh, look at those fireworks! Oh, oh, it's the 4th of July, 2013. You're watching another ineffable Perry Logan show. Oh my god, these fireworks, they mean something. I forget what they mean. Fireworks, bah! Fireworks, bah! Fireworks! I do so hate fireworks! But wait! The fireworks are forming into the face of Fearless Leader! Hello, fellow Americans. This is Barack Obama, Fearless Leader, first fascist. Democratic president. Did he say first fascist democratic president? First fascist democratic president. <laughs> I say a first fascist democratic president. <laughs> yes, well, as I was saying, welcome to post Edward Snowden America. Is there any doubt America is a radically different country? From the one it was before Edward Snowden's revelations? To wit, ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick resume of Edward Snowden's revelations. For those of you who don't know, Edward Snowden has changed the face of US politics and the world simply by revealing that our government is on, what shall we say, a concerted campaign to destroy privacy worldwide. Concerted attempt to destroy privacy worldwide. <laughs> Get back to you. That was me trying to hang up my phony cell phone. Don't forget, 
Cell phones are being perpetrated on you by corporations. Corporations are evil. Corporations will fry your mother to make a buck. Do you hear me? This is very trying to tell you. Cell phones fry your brains. Listen to me. Cell phones fry your brains. Arr! Okay, just a comic interlude. This show is being done on the 4th of July. Being done on the 4th of July, 2013. I don't know, am I in trouble? Am I in trouble because I'm attempting to do uh, one of my uh, enigmatic yet ineffable and no doubt ineluctable shows? Okay. Didn't like that. Imaginary audience and even they don't like my jokes. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know what instrument that is either. Hey, it was a real person, a, a, a guy I admire, not just another one of my little fantasy friends. A real person, a Glenn Greenwald, whom I greatly admire, okay? I'm in trouble. This is like America, uh, July 4th, 2013. It's like the birthday of the empire. I think, maybe, I'm just, I'm not a historian, but I just sort of say, hey, why don't we just sort of officially, sorry, I'm sorry I made a weird face. Who thought, who would have thought I would make a weird face? America is now sort of officially a police state. I use my words advisedly, and I make a weird face when I use them. America is like, it's our first 4th of July as an official, <laughs> official police day. That's my point. And as a, <laughs> a, a person far less silly than I, a Glenn, well, who, who wouldn't that be? Okay, uh, 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 Glenn Greenwald uh, is the guy, who, the conduit, the journalistic conduit through which these staggering revelations, staggering world-changing... <clears throat> I'm so excited, you know me. The world-changing, world-shattering world revelations of one Edward Snowden, whom I also love and admire. Let there be no mistake where I stand on these matters. Well, okay, so uh, needless to say, they are in, like, deep touch with the Empire. <laughs> they are in deep touch with, specifically, oh, you know, the, the uh, foreign policy apparatus of the USA, which is, like, just uh, a kind of a nightmare, surreal landscape, okay? It has been. Well, I think foreign policy in the U.S. has been kind of a nightmare landscape. For many years. Nevertheless, it wasn't always as bad as it was. It wasn't always as bad as it is, is what I think he was trying to say before I ate him. <laughs> oh, I just thought I would scare the kids away. <laughs> so I could do some really, you know, <laughs> adult material. <laughs> Dirty old man scare moment. But in all seriousness, it was uh, uh, Glenn Greenwald who, who noted quite, quite baldly and plainly that uh, the uh, U.S. security apparatus, which is like infinite, <laughs> infinite and all reaching U.S. security apparatus, kind of like uh, Orwell's uh, view screens on. Molto mega super steroids sucking in everything, harvesting data. Speaking of gross outs, uh, well, grossing us out vis a vis, let's say the Fourth Amendment. Oh, God, you know, ooh, ooh, ooh. there is a passage in 1984 that describes what it feels like to be watched. Here it is. I want you to look at what's going on there and just ignore my antics. Hey, ignore my antics and my little cavorting. I, I, I 
can't even cavort. That's a real passage from 1984. I can't cavort because my legs don't work. My legs don't work. My country is sinking into fascism. And uh, we're celebrating, uh, I, okay, the first official July 4th, in my opinion, just, you know, if there were a vote on that, I would say, you know, what's, what's far out is this is our first fourth uh, as a police state. Oh, 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 oh! Yes, it's July 4th, 2013. I have a kill list. We have the NDAA, a law which makes it possible for the army to come and get you. It's really true. It's literally true. Now, if that isn't a goddamn police state, what is? <laughs> Just a little joke from Fearless Leader. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh! Just keep in mind, there are no rights. There is only the state and those who would oppose it. I just wanted to say that as the leader of the fascist wing of the Democratic Party There! He said it! I said the fascist wing of the Democratic Party There! He said it again! As the leader of the fascist wing of the Democratic Party I wanted to say thank you for the great resume the Nobel Prize the constitutional scholar when a fool can see even Perry Logan can see I have no sense of rights yes, at this all. Is what even I can see. Though I love him like a brother, I must say, to my eyes, Obama has no sense of rights, human rights, at all. Hey, I know, you see, I shouldn't have done that. And not just because cell phones fry your brains. For all I know, even pantomime cell phones fry your brains. Anything is possible, damn it! I said anything is possible, damn it! Never mind. Never mind. I will get new props. I will get new props. Perry. I don't know what's going on either. I don't know. I think sometimes Perry does things just to get us all excited, okay? Because, you know, it's kind of a downer living in some kind of weird surveillance society and having to kind of deny it. It's a dimension. See, one of the things that's going on for me to, to, these days is uh, the dimensions of living in, a, in uh, the weird kind of police state that we have become. Okay. Was that verbally ornate enough for you? <laughs> we are uh, <laughs> we're having this 4th of July celebration with lots of fireworks. And what, you know, we, 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 we are just like this much short. You heard me, this much short of a declaration from the government, you know, that there are no rights. There is only the state and those who would oppose it, who will be hunted down, their characters defamed, their passports taken from them, their citizenship revoked.
and sent to the perdition of all those who would oppose the Empire, and I hope you know what that is. This is Big Brother. Where are you going? This is Big Brother. I am watching you. I am collecting your emails. I am harvesting everything from you, your girlfriends, that stuff you downloaded from the internet. I've even got your genitals. I, the NSA, I have your genitals on record, on digital record. <laughs> Where are you going? This is the NSA. This is Big Brother. Where are you going so quickly? Into what dismal landscape do you trod? Don't you realize I know where you're going? I'm tracking you every which way. It's as if the government were taking notes from Alex Jones. Thanks for the blood, Perry. The government did it. No, 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 the government did it. How right you are, Alex. In all seriousness, Perry Logan does not think the conspiracy guys, such as Alex Jones, were always right. But the world really has caught up with them, you gotta admit. And now we're going down this weird corridor, and Big Brother is saying to us, Citizens of the United States, have a good fourth. Watch out for the fireworks. Watch out for the guns. We are celebrating our first fourth as a police state. Oh yeah. Citizens of the United States, there are no rights. There is only the state and those who would oppose it. Now back to Austin's bipedal Perry Logan in A Guy from Chicago. Oh, 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 a guy from Chicago. Oh, 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 who might that be? Oh, there's nothing in here. I'm just a silly person. I'm just like a very, very silly guy. That's me. Oh, oh, oh. oh, but you know, we all know who the guy from Chicago is in the Perry Logan Universe, you now inhabit. Yes, I can do it too. This is, I, I have the same compulsion. Ah, uh, you know, this all comes from the old Perry Logan saying, which is based on another saying. There's a saying to the effect that when fascism comes to America, it will come wrapped in the flag and carrying a Bible. <laughs> ah, but you see, a Perry Logan says, yes, yes, that is a really cool saying. Okay, yes, but you see, nobody said anything about a guy from Chicago. <laughs> This is Perry's weird animated version of Dick Cheney. You know, this show's getting too serious. Let's lighten it up a little. I'm sorry, I'm told that that frightened some of the children. Even more than Logan practically swallowing a damn camera. I like it when Perry does that. I think he's sexy. Shut up, you little wimp. Why don't you go paint another dog? Just trying to lighten things up. But well, anyway, as any fool can see, me and W there started a whole lot of basically fascist things, such as making torture national policy, creating a vast, mind-boggling police state a la 1984, destroying the Fourth Amendment, attacking the First Amendment, attacking everyone basically, destroying your country, as most people know. But, and here's the surprise. The whole move to fascism was completed under the watch of a guy we all love. I love Obama too, with my fresh 15-year-old heart. And by the way, Perry Logan could use a new pair of legs. Perry would never say this, but he's having a little trouble with his gams these days. So if you have a pair of stout male Caucasian legs, preferably with large muscular calves, that you could donate, please write to Perry Logan clone at yahoo.com. And don't worry, Perry won't hurt you. Hey folks, here's me having an orgasm. Hi. Hi, this is Perry Logan. There's nothing wrong with my legs. I deny it 
as uh, America denies it is an empire. Oh, you know, yeah, we've just got bases in virtually every country. You know, think about all the countries we have. I don't know either. There are hundreds of countries, and we like have a effing base in just about everyone. That's like the story. Ah! All the magnum oath, I'm taking up the story. I'm sorry, uh, Perry is always freaking out, and that's why I am slowly but surely taking over the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I'm amusing myself. Uh, I, I, I am sort of like bathing. We are all bathing in the what I would assume should be the occasional realization, kind of a bummer realization. And I said, at every electronic move and conversation on cell phones, and you know the deal. Does that make you out? Well? If this doth not freak you out, uh, are you uh, perhaps pretending to have no bloody sense of privacy? What kind of animal are you? I really think Edward Snowden totally shifted the consciousness of everybody. It's a post-Snowden world, and you know, this is just gonna go the kite of authoritarians everywhere, and I am so glad. <laughs> This is Big Brother. It is now time for our two minutes hate of Edward Snowden. Get going. Sit down and start hating. Two minutes hate of Edward Snowden. Let's go. A two minutes. I'm pretending to dance. <laughs> okay, okay, the two minutes take are over. The two minutes take are over. Well, you see, it's very simple. There's no doubt that Barack Obama fooled the whole world. My friends, he fooled the Nobel Prize Committee. That's pretty good fooling. Obama fooled MSNBC's Chris Matthews, whose leg Obama made tingle. It has led to Perry Logan's Law, number 23647. If a candidate makes Chris Matthews' leg tingle, he's probably a fascist. Yes, well, it certainly seems so. The same could be said of most lefty pundits. Hey, that's right. Most lefty pundits were all for Obama. A and I guess most lefties voted for the guy twice. The left voted for a fascist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, might as well make it clear. Obama seems to be kind of in charge of an out-and-out out attempt to erase privacy. It's as if he were trying to get us all to show our genitals. Yeah. I said, it's as if he were trying to get us all to show our genitals. Uh, doth the breathe man, woman, or child who wants to hide their genitals? I'm not trying to gross you out. I'm getting your attention. Uh, I, I regard that thing about privacy which is what's going down, this creepy 
thing with this, it's almost like finding out someone was watching you naked. For God knows what reason. But it's creepy. I think it's kind of primordial. This would make Obama, even though I love him so much, uh, guilty of a kind of primordial uh, political sin, okay? Mr. Logan will be lowered in on cables to do his tramp routine. I tell ya, the guy needs some new legs. Will you people contact Perry with some new legs? Preferably stout, preferably male, preferably Caucasian, and with good muscular calves. Just kidding. Enjoy the show, folks. Enjoy the show. This is Dick Cheney. I'm really a nice guy. Enjoy the show. Looks like Perry's gams really aren't giving him trouble. He's trying to fake his tramp routine. Well, what do you know? At least we've got to admire Perry's willingness to go on. But wait, what's he doing now? Looks like he wants us to dance, Tim. Come on, everybody. Get your genitals off and let's dance. 